3.2 billion. That is the number of people who have never heard the name of Jesus. They live in a place where they will grow up, live their lives, and die without ever hearing his name. Let that sink in. 3.2 billion. It is hard for our brains to fully comprehend how many people a million is, let alone a billion. If he is the only way to get to the Father and have eternal life, we cannot be okay with this as Christians. 3.2 billion. If they never hear about Jesus and his saving work on the cross, they're going to go to hell. It is a reality that we try and hide ourselves from. Romans 3.23 and 6.23 say this really well. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world, and the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. There are no innocent people in this world. We are all in need of our Savior's sacrifice. The church needs people willing to lay down everything to tell people about it. In Acts 1.8, Jesus gives his final instructions to his disciples. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without somebody preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news.